We are building the world's first commercial space station. Why should we care about travel to space made private? The more people that we can have that see the world as the whole world, the better off we all are. Chief Technology Officer at Axiom Space Matt Ondler said, after witnessing many people that have come back profoundly changed because of their experience in orbit. It has been over a year since AX-1 mission took off on a Falcon 9 rocket with the very first fully private crew of astronauts to International Space Station, and Axiom seems to hold on to their vision precisely. As of May 25, 2023, AX-2 mission is currently reaching the equator-crossing milestone of its duration and the vision of Axiom Space to implement a first commercial space station into a reality comes much closer. About the Axiom Space plans we're going to talk later, since at the glance of today's episode is the significance of AX2 mission for private space travel. Why so? Subscribe to the channel to never miss a new update and let's get into the mission overview to begin with. This is Adventures in Space. On Sunday, May 21st, 2023, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket carrying a Crew Dragon capsule initiated the AX-2 mission. This mission introduced a distinctive flight profile, featuring a groundbreaking milestone for the Falcon 9 booster and a rapid trajectory for Dragon. The Falcon 9's first stage propelled Dragon to orbit before separating from the second stage. Meanwhile, the second stage propelled Dragon to orbital velocity. Notably, the first stage diverged from convention by returning to launch pad 1 near the launch site rather than heading towards a drone ship downrange. This event marked the first Falcon 9 LZ-1 landing for a human spaceflight mission, a significant milestone for SpaceX. The capability to land the Falcon 9 booster on solid ground is of paramount importance due to its implications for mission stability and it is substantially cheaper to do it this way, hence highly convenient. This demonstrates SpaceX's growing confidence in their operations. Previously, Falcon 9 boosters have landed with approximately one ton of extra propellant, providing an opportunity to utilize this margin for ground landings. The AX-2 mission validated the feasibility of this approach, indicating that ground landings may become the norm whenever circumstances permit. After the first stage touchdown, the Dragon spacecraft separated from Falcon 9's second stage and underwent initial system checkouts. Delta Velocity maneuvers raised its orbit for rendezvous with the International Space Station. As Dragon approached the ISS, it established communication, performed a final orbit race, achieved relative navigation and autonomously approached along the docking axis. The spacecraft then successfully docked with the ISS, followed by pressurization, hatch opening and crew onboarding. Upon reaching the ISS, the AX-2 crew received a warm welcome from the Expedition 69 crew members. A ceremonial event followed, where AX-2 mission commander Whitson granted the Universal Astronaut insignia upon her fellow astronauts. This prestigious pin, provided by the Association of Space Explorers, signifies their esteemed status as astronauts who have embarked on space missions. The duration of this mission is planned for 12 days, and AX-2 crew will be residing and working aboard the orbiting laboratory, undertaking over 20 research experiments across various scientific and technological domains. These experiments aim to enhance our understanding of human spaceflight and foster advancements that can improve life on Earth. In 2020, NASA awarded Axiom Space a noteworthy $140 million contract as part of the Next Space Technologies for Exploration Partnerships Cislunar Initiative. The contract mandates Axiom to provide at least one habitable spacecraft that will attach to the International Space Station. These modules, meticulously designed by Axiom, will be affixed to the Harmony Forward port, with the primary objective of showcasing their ability to commercially provide services and products within the low Earth orbit economy. The proposed Axiom segment of the ISS encompasses a node module to serve as a connector, a research and manufacturing facility, a crew habitat, a large power module, 
and a module featuring expensive windows for Earth observation. Significant processes has already been made towards the realization of Axiom Station. Following successful preliminary and critical design reviews in collaboration with NASA, Axiom's partner Tails Alenia Space has commenced welding and machining activities for the primary structures of Axiom Station's first module. The fabrication of flight hardware has commenced and the assembled module will soon be transported to Houston for final assembly and integration. Axiom Space boasts a unique privilege, the exclusive opportunity to connect its modules to the International Space Station. This strategic partnership enables Axiom Space to seamlessly leverage the multinational user base of the ISS National Laboratory, facilitating the continuation of research and manufacturing initiatives. Axiom Station is poised to serve as a host for diverse research, manufacturing, and development endeavors, leveraging microgravity's unique characteristics to drive advancements in numerous industries. Furthermore, Axiom Station will support the expanding infrastructure and solutions operating in space, providing an accessible platform for private companies and national governments to spearhead breakthrough innovations through research and development. The ongoing AX2 mission shares common goals with Axiom's broader vision. Axiom Space already offers missions to the International Space Station, encompassing a 10-day duration accompanied by 15 weeks of training. The package includes mission planning, hardware development, life support, medical support, crew provisions, hardware and safety certifications, on-orbit operations, and mission management. Depending on the specific objectives of the spaceflight, missions may extend beyond the initial 10-day timeframe. Axiom Space envisions the launch and assembly of its spacecraft modules in orbit, initially attaching them to the International Space Station. Before the ISS eventual retirement and atmospheric re-entry, Axiom plans to detach its modules and establish an independent orbit as Axiom Station. Illustrations by Axiom Space showcase the possibility of berthing and relocating modules on the ISS using the mobile servicing system including the Canada Arm 2, Axiom targets the late 2025 launch of its first module to the ISS. The AX2 mission epitomizes a significant leap in commercial spaceflight, paving the way for increased accessibility, research opportunities and technological advancements in low Earth orbit. By successfully docking with the ISS, AX2 has demonstrated the feasibility of private missions to the International Space Station reaffirming Axiom Space's commitment to expanding access to space for scientific and commercial purpose. Axiom's overreaching vision for Axiom Station aligns with the AX2 mission's objectives, highlighting the company's ambition to establish a robust, privately owned space station that supports a wide range of scientific research, biomanufacturing and technology demonstrations. Through these endeavors, Axiom Space aims to foster a sustainable and thriving low-Earth orbit economy, while continuing to push the boundaries of human space exploration. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated everything space race related and more. We do four essays every week in relevant topics and you have two more in front of you right now. This was Georgie with Adventures in Space and I hope to see you at the next one.